Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Tahina with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I'm going to show you a brand new kit that I got. Ooh, ah. This is going to be the Simple and Powered Machine Set. Just wanted to make sure I got that right. It is set 9686. Um, I showed you guys a video before of the Pneumatics add-on set. So this guy right here, ooh, sorry about that. This is going to be the actual base set that the pneumatics got added onto. So what I want to do today is unbox this guy because I just got it. So I want to show you what's inside and then definitely a couple of projects that they have you build for this thing. So it's super cool. And then later on, I'll go ahead and combine it with the add-on set, the pneumatics. So it's a really cool thing. I mean, it's Christmas here. Um, just thinking about opening this up and seeing what's all inside. So if you want to see all of that, stay with me. No, Lego Robotics. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, so if you're taking a look here, ah, uh, see, that's why I get excited. I'm looking at all these projects you can do or build. And then, for again, for the number, it is set 9686, for those of you trying to check this out. I've left you the link to this set um, in the description, so don't worry about that. Okay, let's open this guy up. Here we go. Okay, so there is the cover there. Getting a better idea of that. So for those of you that teach STEM or you know parents that want your child to do STEM, there are definitely STEM projects in here. So we see a windmill right here. Definitely see things with pulleys and levers. And then it looks like a crane right here. So man, super excited to get in here. Okay, so definitely some booklets with instructions. Oh yeah, check that out. Look at this, man. Getting super excited about this. Some more booklets here. Oh, shoot. Check that out. So, you know I'm going to be bringing these to you very soon. But you know what? Let's get more into... Oh, shoot. There's more stuff. Look at that. What's nice about this is it's always nice to have the booklets in your hand, you know? I know they have instructions online but it's nice just to have the booklets in your hand so that way you know you can be just looking at these things and not having any digital interference you know what i mean okay so let's take a look okay that looks like regular eb3 connectors there got i see some gears inside Definitely some parts and pieces that are Lego. You can see it right in there. Okay. That definitely looks like a motor with an on and off switch. I recognize some of those pieces, but then again, definitely some Lego pieces in there. There's the beams I was looking for. There were some projects that you can do with the pneumatic set. And I'm like, I don't have some of these, you know, Technic pieces right here. Okay, some more beams. I see some tires there. Again, some of the pieces that I was looking for. These Technic pieces, a lot of gears. That definitely feels like a battery. It's pretty heavy. Um, some more J-beams, some rims for tires, some axles. There's definitely a motor. Mm -hmm. 
not exactly sure what that is, but I know I'm going to find out. And what are those? Not sure what those are yet. Oh, probably the sails for that sailboat. And then definitely a tray. That's what I was hoping the inventor kit would have had a tray to put everything in. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and organize these pieces and definitely get started on some of these projects. Okay, guys, so this build is kind of like um, one of those pump jacks. Pump jacks are those um, oil pumping wells that you see um, maybe in Texas or in a field where they're trying to extract oil. Um, but this one here is not going to be extracting anything. It's just going to be used as a hammer. And if you see this axle right here, um, as I crank this, it's going to, if you see these parts right here, they're going to um, lift this hammer and basically nail that axle in there. So check this out as I crank this. And the axle has been nailed in right there. So it's a really cool build, really fast. And it just, uh, just can reinforce and you can also, you know, talk to your students about the pump jack and how it's different. And there's that piece that's been nailed in there. So it's just a nice platform to be able to talk to students about um, the different aspects of this build. As I crank this, you can see these pieces lift the hammer and drop it. And then you can, uh, you know, mention the pump jack and what, what really is happening as the uh, pump jack is trying to extract oil. But this is just a really neat kind of replica and it has definitely a lot of connections to it. So now let's go ahead and see a project that I did um, using both of the kits, um, the pneumatics kit, um, which, you know, allowed me to do my favorite build, which is a, a scissors lift. Okay guys, I'm super excited about this scissors lift. So here's how this works. We're gonna go ahead and pump this up. The air is gonna go into the air tank and this valve, this gray valve right here is just waiting for us to let it know which way we want the air to go. So if I flip this switch right here, let me come over on this side. It's gonna activate this too go up and if I flip it back down then it's going to go back down let's see if I have enough air in it to make it go back up again nope okay so let's keep giving this thing air there we go and make it come back down again so this is a really cool build I love scissors lift I actually had a student that said his dad uh, operated a scissors lift, so he was super excited when we got to this project. Gotta love that. Let's see if I have enough air for another one. Nope. There we go. So this is a really cool project. Okay guys, so there you have it. And no, I'm not going to claim that these are cheap kits. Um, you know, if you have the funding for this or if your school can provide that funding, um, they're really great resources. But, you know, the amount of students that you'll be able to service per kit, that's going to be an issue. Um, so, if you know, you have the money, that's awesome. And it's, it's really neat when you put these two kits together. There's so many projects that students can build, so many things that they can make connections to in the real world. So... I will leave you the link to both of these kits in the description if you want to check them out. Um, but definitely do your homework, see what you like, what you don't like, and that's ultimately going to help you make your decision. I'll try to send out more videos using both these kits just so that you're able to you know, make a decision if you really can't tell from the information that the links give you. Um, but, you know, if you trust me as a source, I'll try to bring more and more videos using these kits because I really like it and definitely want you to be able to see that. OK. All right, guys. Hopefully you're still staying safe, staying safe, having a great summer if you're in summer right now. And I will see you in my next video. I am Mr. Hino from Missiles Lego Robotics.
I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.